This is the home of the New York Knicks in Nashville, Tennessee. This is your host, Musa Azabar, bringing you that New York Knicks smack down, doing what it do with the history, the pain, the glory, blood, sweat, tears, you go. I bleed blue, orange, and white. You feel me? So my Knicks fans out there, make sure y'all like this video, share, and subscribe. You hear me? Like, share, and subscribe. You will be notified every time your boy bring it home to your dome, nigga. It's not my music. Once again, copyright disclaimer. Under section 107, copyright disclaimer. It's not my music, it's Young Jeezy. So don't penalize the video. Or might be a big <laughs> Yeah, no New York news, baby. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What about you all? Man, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. I got this article from Clutch Points. Clutch Points. It says, Knicks finally found their franchise cornerstone in R.J. Beck. Woo! Can you smell what Azekar is cooking? The New York Knicks haven't been in the playoffs since 2013. And they've been searching for new a new savior after Carmelo Anthony fell to bring him to the promised land. It was supposed to be Kristaps, but his ass wanted to go. I, I I can't take the pressure. I can't take the pressure. I need me a teammate. I must go. I don't want to play for New York no more. I don't want it. Even though I broke my ankle, I don't want to want it. That's why your boy had to get traded to the Dallas Mavericks. He got a good player. He played along with Luka. Can't knock him. The Knicks selected Barrett out of Duke with the number three pick in the 2019 NBA draft. There was plenty of hype surrounding Zion Williamson's college sidekick. Landing a job on the Knicks with a few standout players to play with. Barrett had a sizable role during his rookie season, starting 55 out of the 56 games and playing over 30 minutes per game on a 21-win squad. But at the end of that, man, they were, they were having a little, a little winning streak, if I'm not mistaken. They were playing pretty well. But they got some guidance now, baby. They have some guidance. They put up respectable numbers for a rookie, averaging 14, 5, 2 assists, while shooting 40% overall and 32 from three. There were certainly issues with the consistency of defense and raw rookie show flashes at the time. Struggled during the others. You know, that's, that's how it is. Barrett was also an all-star rookie snub. And he seemed to have to use that as motivation to into this season. Hell yeah, because he was getting to the line. I want to say like, was it third or fourth of James Harden? Somebody please give me that information if they got that. But yeah, he was getting to the line like a mob, man. But he, you know, some hit, some he didn't. But it's time for progression. And what are we seeing right now? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. In his second campaign in the league, Barrett's getting more and more confident with his game. While he did just endure a shooting slump feature in the four-game stretch of 0 for 21, from shooting beyond the three-point line, the Austin quickly bounced back with two magnificent performances in an all-star win, excuse me, in a surprising win over the Indiana Pacers and the Atlanta Hawks. Look at the lefty assassins, though. Y'all see the lefty assassins? Do y'all see? Do y'all see Julius Randle right there with 28 points, 17 boards, and nine assists? Barry with 26, 11 rebounds, and five assists at the two guard position. 
Nigga, y'all got me fucked up. We gonna be straight. I don't want no bandwagons. Stay y'all motherfucking asses on over there. Let me drown in my ship if it's gonna go down. Because I've been drowning pretty good by myself. So I don't need nobody just come along and drown with me, okay? Okay. Okay. The Bears showed out with a double double performance against the Rebound Hawks on Monday. Going for 26 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. For the 113 and 108 of victory. And then New York erased a 15 point second half deficit to get in the victory. Moving 4 and 3 to the young season and the progress. 4 and 3 sounds so, oh man, y'all overreacting. But man, being a Knicks fan so long and watching us go through the malarkey, man, we got something. Something. But hey, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for this, y'all. Y'all leave me some comments. Knicks fans, leave me some comments. Like this video, y'all. Share, subscribe, and hey, hit that HBO. HBO. Get that cash app or that PayPal up, man. Throw, just throw your boy some love. A dollar two. A dollar two for the for the hard first time distance. Peace on the dollar. I appreciate this, man.